down at South Devon College today doing some training with T10 and Euro car parts and we were discussing braking systems and as I got my E91 3 Series on the ramp I thought we should go and check out the uh, rear ABS sensor pickups as they are quite common for going wrong so it was quite interesting what we found. So there aren't any faults on this vehicle however what happens is the pickups on the back end up getting corrosion behind them and then touching the wheel speed sensor itself. So you can see there, look, this one is nearly on the way out. Can you see the line that's tracking down the middle of the sensor pickup? Okay. So that's where the corrosion has got in behind that cage and is pushing it out and rubbing on the sensor. So there's no faults, as I said, but this one's getting close. So that was the rear left. The rear right is in a similar state. So if we go around here, we can see that, see that shiny bit there? That's where it's been touching the sensor. And there, look, you see that? So there's corrosion got behind that cage and it's actually rubbing on the sensor. So what I thought I'd do is connect it up to the oscilloscope and see what we get. So to take the measurement on the wheel speed sensor, you need to make sure that it's connected up. And to actually get the probes in there to measure it, you're gonna need a breakout lead like this. In fact, you're gonna need two of them, okay? And the idea is you disconnect the ABS sensor and put this in between it, and then that allows us to connect into it. So I've put a link for some of these in the description. So you can see there, look, I've disconnected the wheel speed sensor behind the wheel arch lining and I've connected those cables up. Make sure you get them the right way round, okay? If you don't, then this isn't gonna work. I've then got one of the probes, so the black probe is connected to uh, ground, and then the blue probe is connected into the signal wire. Okay, so we've got the 4425A connected up today and we're on channel A. We can see here at the minute that we've got no voltage. Um, against what you might think, this has got a physical pickup on the ring. You might be expecting an AC type signal, like a sine wave. It's not actually the case on this car. It's got a digital type signal. So that's why you need to make sure you use those breakout leads and connect both ends of the uh, wiring up so the circuit's complete. Um, what you'll also need to make sure you do is turn on the ignition. So let's just do that right now. Okay, so the ignition is on. And we've got the flat line at 12 volts there. So if you go into the other, other lead, it's at zero volts, but you could see with the ignition off, it was, um, zero volts as well. So let's just um, spin this wheel round now. Okay, and you can see there that we've got quite a small signal, okay? So I'm just gonna adjust some settings so that we can see more of the signal. Remember, we wanted to check that whole pickup. So first of all, I'm gonna increase the time base to 100 milliseconds per division. And I'm also going to change the uh, coupling mode to AC. And what that will do is bring that line down to zero volts. Now that line's at zero volts, we can actually use a smaller voltage scale so we can see those changes a lot easier. So now we've got that there, let's spin the wheel now. Okay. So we can see there that we've got a pretty good signal. Now I will save this waveform. If you want to get hold of this waveform, um, check out the link below to our free waveform library. And if you want to find out more about oscilloscope diagnostics, head over to mechanicmindset.com and check out the oscilloscope training that we're running. So let's scroll back and take a look at this waveform. So we can see there that actually there's no difference all the way along there, even considering that that sensor pickup is starting to go corroded and possibly touching the, that sensor. So I think that's a job that I'm going to be doing soon. Hope that helps you out.